Oh boy, what do we have for you today? Well, we hope you're ready because things are about to get scary. We're going to see some discoveries in Egypt that have all the scientists either confused or outright scared. In today's top 10, we're going deep. How deep? Keep watching and you'll find out. Number one, it's Rosetta Stone. Hey, uh, with a name like this, you can't help but wonder what is the mysterious Rosetta Stone? I always thought she taught language, but it was discovered in 1799 by no other than Napoleon soldiers. It's a granite-like steel featuring some signs of hieroglyphic script, not in one, not in two, but in three different types of writing, including ancient Greek. Now, if you know your geography, you'll wonder how on earth does it include a language from so far away? But the mysteries don't end there. During the 19th century, scholars studied this amazing stone and decoded its inscriptions. It was a combination of letters and symbols. And if you want to even be more impressed, well, keep in mind that the Rosetta Stone is actually four feet high, two and a half feet wide. In 1822, a French scholar discovered that these hieroglyphs make up a decree issued by King Ptolemy the Epiphanes, who became became king of Egypt in 204 BCE. Number two is the mummy of Najmet. When we think of mummies, we imagine big pyramids, dark labyrinths, hidden riches. Not in this case. This was a lucky break for a couple of sheep herders, and not so much for the goat, who had one of the goats disappear into a deep hole all of a sudden. Well, what they uncovered then is what's now known as Dari El Bahari, or Royal Cachette, or DB320. The cachette held the mummified remains of Queen Najmet, who was adorned with artificial eyes made of stone, and the wrappings held artifacts like a heart scarab and small figurines of Sons of Horus. But the most unusual thing about this tomb, she was buried along with a group of other people, currently thought of as priest, and yet her husband's missing. Hey, how you holding up so far? Well, we hope you're keeping some of the suspense energy because what's coming up is going to make your jaw drop open. Ready for more? Let's go then. Number three is King Tut's tomb. We've all heard of King Tut's curse, mummies, plague, etc. But most people don't realize our findings of predecessors just shows how smart and advanced they were. Everybody's heard of King Tut Uncommon, and no wonder he was one of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever. The beginning of all the plague stories, all the mummy movies, and everything any adventurer worth her salt, like Lara Croft, would be worth of. Howard Carter was the lucky son of a gun to find the unimaginable treasures hidden within the tomb. The most famous boy king in history is worth the attention, and if you can, go look him up live. Number four, the world's oldest 20-sided die. Some of you might not appreciate Dungeons and Dragons, but gambling and versions of role-playing have been alive for thousands of years. If gambling's your thing, then this artifact is right up your alley. The oldest 20-sided die is a thing to behold. While it's inscribed with Greek letters, we clearly know the historical value of this piece that was made somewhere around 304 BC. If you happen to have a chance to grab this one-in-a-lifetime artifact to play D&D with us, well, you'll be welcome in our game anytime. Metropolitan Museum, <coughs> Gallery 138, <coughs> we didn't tell you anything. We're now almost in the middle of the video, and it's the perfect time to remind you, give us a thumbs up, then go right ahead and subscribe to the channel and bang that notification bell. Because remember, if you're liking this video, you're going to find even more amazing content all over the channel, and you can visit right after you finish watching this one. Are you ready to go back to ancient Egypt? Shall we? Number five is Canopic Jars. This is my least favorite topic, and we all know the process of mummification in Egypt. But have you ever asked yourself what they do with human intestines? Hmm. Well, this is where the canopic jars come in hand. The Egyptians would put a metal string up your nostril and take out your brain and clean out your intestines and fill you up with sawdust to make you look so pretty for the ceremony. So where did your organs go? You guessed it right, canopic jars. As if that made any difference. Just, just burn me alive, please. But if you're old school and you want to leave something for your grandkids, well, then this is the practice for you. I'm sure they'd love to have your liver up on the fireplace mantle. Number six is Ashtabi. Most of us have idols we pray to, especially lately. It's extremely popular to have a shrine for ordinary people that come up on the screen. Luckily for you, it's not a new practice and you're not weird. Ashtabi dolls were figurines dedicated to workers who accompanied deceased into the afterlife which is another misconception that slaves built most of the things in Egypt. They did not. 
At least these wooden and stone figurines were worth worshiping because they brought value to life. Scientists, architects, and other smart people, their name came from Egyptian SWB, which meant answer. Number seven, Pyramid Age Papyri. If any of you had the pleasure of dealing with Egyptologists, then you would know they are a rather, uh, how can I say this politely, kind of close-minded people. Uh, in this case, we have a papyri from about 4,500 years ago, stating where the limestone for the pyramid was shipped from and how. Yet some Egyptologists would prefer to say it's aliens or some other thing like that, which would support the idea that ancient people were idiots and not advanced civilizations and didn't have a good understanding of math and physics. As you could probably guess, we just don't agree with the Egyptologists in this case. Well, we've made it to the top three, and if you haven't decided yet which discovery interests you most from the list, it's certain you'll pick a favorite soon. Are you ready to see if we kept the best for last? Number eight is the Khufu ship. Now, you might think we're sprouting nonsense, but you don't have to look far to understand we're in agreement with most Egyptologists. <laughs> The only problem being is that they're not too keen on adapting to new knowledge. So let's take their example. Khufu ship. This marvel of technology for its time survived intact until our age all the way from at least 2500 BCE. Recovered from Giza in 1954, this 40 meter boat was supposedly buried with the pharaoh for his use in the afterlife. Well, if you want to go see it, go to the Giza Museum, which displays it right there along with the other planks, blocks, and ropes dedicated to the vessel. Number nine, it's the Silver King. This tomb was discovered in a very unlucky time in history, just when World War II was starting in 1939. The archaeologist who discovered it was named Pierre Monte, and if it hadn't been for the catastrophic world events, it would definitely have made more news than it did back then. If you're wondering what's so important that would have made it headlines, it was the tomb of Susind I, which was a pharaoh that ruled Egypt more than 3,000 years ago. What else is impressive? Well, as you can probably guess from the title of the listing, the pharaoh gained his nickname, the Silver King, because he was buried in a coffin of silver and wearing an amazing gold burial mask. Now, how did this one survive while some of the other goods that were buried didn't because of the Delta's humidity? Ah, uh, we don't know. Number 10, The Secret of the Sphinx. For our last listing, we thought it would be a good idea to intrigue you even more. So we present you with something that really scares Egyptologists in the sense that they might be wrong about a lot of things that they've learned until now. So if you've been following the news, you'll know that the erosion marks on the Sphinx portray a completely different picture than the ones the history books want you to believe. Just how much erosion of the stone walls has taken place, or how long the erosive processes might have taken to get to where they are today, this theory disproves all the standards about the Egyptian civilization as it is. However, you'll not find an Egyptologist to discuss it with you, even though these findings are based on scientific proof. Interesting? You bet it is. Well, there you have it for today. That's the top 10 amazing discoveries in Egypt that scare scientists. Now it's time to hear it from you. Which is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comments, and if you haven't already, don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel, bang that icon bell, and that way you can see everything we've got to offer, or you can do them the other way around, or however you want to do that. We won't judge. We'll see you next time.